Hello, everyone. My name is Yong Kang He. I am by now I'm already 34 times multi cloud certified, including CKA, CKAD, and also CKS. Today, I'm going to walk you through how to build a OKE cluster on OCI in 10 minutes. So for those of you who are not aware, OKE, that's the Oracle Container Engine for Kubernetes running on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. Let's get started. There are many ways to create an OKE cluster. First of all, you can log into Oracle Cloud Web Console to create an OKE cluster. Or you can use OCI Resource Manager, which is based on Terraform. In addition, you can just use the Terraform if you're familiar with use Terraform to create an OKE cluster. Uh, also, Oracle also provided a command line tool. It's called an OCI CLI, which you can use the OCI CE cluster create to create an OKE cluster. Additionally, if you want to, you can use the rest for API or SDK to create an OKE cluster. Today, I'm going to show you how to create an OKE cluster from Oracle Cloud Web Console. So here, is, here are the high level steps to create, to build an OKE cluster. There are a few you know, preparation tasks. Mainly, you need to have an OCI account credentials with enough permissions. And secondly, you need to have a web browser, obviously. Everybody have a, a web browser. First of all, before you can create uh, the node pool, you need to create an OKE cluster control plan. And after that, you can create a node pool. If you created the OKE cluster from the web console, actually it's part of the whole workflow. When you click create a cluster, you will be creating an OKE cluster control plan followed by node pool. You don't have to create a node pool separately, which is slightly simple comparing to AWS EKS cluster. You need to, after you create a control plan, you need to manually create a node group, okay? So let's see something in action. I will give a live demo how to create an OKE cluster. So first of all, we are going to create an OKE cluster from the cloud uh, web console. We will create a part of the creation. We will create an OKE cluster control plane and followed by create a node pool. Let me log into the console. So if you haven't logged into Oracle Cloud console, you just type a cloud.oracle.com and press enter. It will launch the login, you know, console. You need to provide your username, password, etc. Once you log into the cloud portal or cloud console, you can see I'm actually using a trial account. That's why you see here, I got uh, almost, uh, yeah, my trial almost expired. Yeah, in about seven days, it's going to expire. So just before expire, I'm going to show you how to create an OK cluster, okay? So I click here from all the menu here, navigation menu. If you don't have a favorite or pin the links here, you can find the OK cluster from all developer services. The first one is a Kubernetes cluster. You, if it wasn't pinned to the homepage, you click the icon here to pin to your you know, homepage, okay? So I click on OK cluster here. It will ask you, do you want to create a you know, cluster? So which I'm going to create a cluster now, create a cluster. I choose the quick create. And a part of the quick create, we're going to create a VCN, virtual cloud network. Uh, we're going to create an internet gateway Etc. Okay, so I click a launch workflow and give a cluster name. Let's say OK for Yong Wang. 
they choose the compartment. And so for those of you who are not aware, the compartment is for you to logically group the resources together and then you can apply the policies for the, you know, access control. So I'm going to put it to a separate compartment. I, I don't want to use the root compartment. Typically the root compartment, using the root compartment is not the best uh, practice. So I choose the separate compartment, which I already choose. And you can choose the Kubernetes version. Uh, right now, the latest one, that's 1.21.5. And then you can choose the API endpoint. You can choose the private endpoint or public endpoint for the testing purpose. Uh, I just choose, uh, leave it as it is, public endpoint. And for the worker nodes, I'm also choosing you know, public workers, yeah, since I'm doing the testing. So I choose both of them as a public uh, access. For the shape, the shape, the compute shape, actually, that's the instance type to, if you, you're familiar to AWS terminologies, uh, that's the instance type. So I leave it as a V3, a VM standard E3 flex. So if I, I'm going to customize the number of CPU, I need a four CPU. I don't need a 16 gig memory. I use a 16 gig. Uh, I don't need a 64 gig memory. I just use a 16 gig memory. Do I need a, really need a three workloads for the testing? I just keep it as a one and then click next. So give you a summary of your cluster name, your version, your network details, your node pool details, etc. Once I click create a cluster, we're going to create a control plan first, followed by creating the node pool. So to me, it's pretty simple. Yeah, I think uh, uh, very simple, uh, especially comparing to AWS, uh, if you are going to create an EKS cluster from the web console, it's a little bit uh, complex, yeah. So if you watch my other video about uh, building EKS uh, cluster by web console, you might have noticed you need to create a cluster rule first, you need to create a node group rule first before you can create the control plan. After you create the control plan, then separately you need an extra task to create a node group, okay? So thanks to Oracle, it makes it so simple. You just uh, follow the workflow. In one go, you're going to create a control plan plus the node pool. Okay, right now the cluster status is showing creating. If you want to check the details of the cluster uh, creating progress, you can, from the bottom of the screen, on the left-hand side, there is a work request. Click work request, you can see, right now you've got a two requests. The one is a cluster creating, right now we're creating in progress. And we kick off the job from uh, this time, uh, that's UTC time, 10, 11 UTC time. It's already kicked off and uh, the node pool creates, it's, it's queued right now, it's accepted, but waiting for class create uh, finish before we're going to create the node pool, okay? As you can see now from the screen, so class create just finishes succeeded. And they took, uh, so started at 10, 11, but finished at uh, 10, almost 10, 17. So exactly around six minutes. I tried uh, a couple of times for the control plan creation, it take uh, six minutes. And uh, now we're creating the node pool. Typically it's take around three minutes, four minutes. So the total time, it does take uh, about 10 minutes, okay? So now the cluster is creating the node pool, but it's almost there. Let me come back to the slide deck. So once the cluster create finish, so we will continue. So how to verify if the OKE cluster is up running. So basically we need to retrieve the OKE cube configure from access cluster. And then basically I give a sample, not exactly you copy the same command. So uh, the sample here, you can copy from uh, access cluster from the web console. And then you paste the command to the terminal from uh, where you have uh, OCI's command line interface installed. 
Okay, and after that, you should be able to verify if the cluster is okay. You can run kube control cluster info or kube control get nodes to check the cluster node status. So let me come back to the web console to say the status. It still hasn't finished yet, but the kube configure file should be ready. So I click uh, just under the cluster name, there is an access cluster. I click access cluster, you can see cloud shell access. So I can launch a cloud shell and then I can copy the whole command here. So how to access the kube configure, you just copy the whole command. So OCI dash C and then paste it to the cloud shell and press enter. And from here, you got the access to the cluster. So for example, if I want to verify the cluster information, kube control cluster info, you can see the control plane. Here is my control plane, the core DNS running here. If I run kube control get nodes, you can see the status of the nodes. So this looks like the node just becomes ready, okay? And it was using Oracle Linux Server 7.9. Yep. Let me come back to the web console just to verify the cluster status. Yeah, it was showing active now. And both of the job completed successfully. You might have noticed the node creation also succeeded. And it took us 1017 started this job and the 1020. Uh, 39 finished just under uh, just under four minutes. So the total time is just under 10 minutes. So the imam is ready and we verify that the cluster is up running and that there is a one single node, it's running 1.21. If I come back to the slide deck here, so the next step I'm going to show you how to deploy a sample application on OKE cluster. So I'm going to show you how to deploy a sample NGX uh, application by Kube Control, or you can also choose to deploy a sample MySQL application by Helm Chart. Yeah, I got the command here as well. Come back to the cloud shell. Let me copy the first command. So under the bottom of the page, there is a quick start. If I click a quick start, you can see how to deploy a sample app. So you just copy the whole line here, kube control create with the YAML file. And uh, I'm going to open up the cloud shell, run this command here. So what are we are going to create here is if I do get uh, the port status, you can see we're going to create uh, two NGX uh, ports. So right now container is creating in the meantime, let me create uh, my SQL application. So I copy the command. So I will create a separate namespace, my SQL namespace. I will add the uh, Bitnami Helm chart and I will run the Helm install command, uh, my SQL. And uh, yeah, in this my SQL namespace, if I do get port status, uh, I'm going to watch the whole port of all the namespace. You can see right now the NGX port is already running, and uh, right now uh, the MySQL container is creating. So that basically completes the deploy of a sample application. Come back to the uh, side deck. You can see we deploy the uh, NGX application by the kube control using the YAML file, deployment YAML file, and we also created the deploy the sample MySQL application via Helm chart. Okay, a few reference links here. So how to create the OKE cluster via the quick create. Here is a link from Oracle in the documentation page. Here is another link, how to set up the cluster access. And another link is about how to deploy a sample NGX application on cluster using kube control. I think that's all I want to cover here. I also listed uh, a few links, uh, some additional information if you are interested. So previously I recorded uh, multiple YouTube videos uh, on how to build a popular Kubernetes cluster on 
open shift on Rosa and that's really had to open shift uh, service on AWS and also VMware Tenzoo Kubernetes grid and the Alibaba cloud container service for Kubernetes and also HPE Ismo container platform. If you are interested, here is a link. You can find all the, you know, how to build the Kubernetes cluster on these popular, you know, platform and uh, how to back up the containers. So once you build the cluster, so very important thing. Remember, your containers still need a backup, still need the insurance policy. I recorded multiple videos to show you how to back up the containers in three minutes. And uh, additionally, uh, there is, a, if you love the automation, I'm actually got the open source uh, shell scripts, uh, make it uh, publicly available from GitHub to show you how to build and protect the Kubernetes cluster via the automation on AWS EKS, Azure AKS, and uh, Google Kubernetes Engine, and also OpenShift. Here is the link. The last one is uh, how to, yeah, there are a lot of popular Kubernetes clusters. I included here OpenShift Container Platform, GKE, EKS, AKS, TKG, ACK, etc. More to come, yeah. I'm still planning to build more. So that's, yeah, coming next. Yeah, we already built a OKE cluster, right? And uh, come next, I'm going to show you how to deploy a sample database into OKE cluster, how to back up the containers run your own OKE cluster, how to restore the containers in case something happened, I want to recover all of my containers. And additionally, I want to build additional uh, session, uh, create another session for my great containers how to migrate containers from on-premise to Oracle Cloud on your own OKE cluster, or could be from other cloud to you know, OKE, or could be from other Kubernetes distribution to OKE cluster. Thanks for watching. And that's all I want to cover for today. Yeah, feel free to connect me via LinkedIn, Twitter, YouTube, uh, or GitHub page. Yeah, also any questions, suggestions, comments, feel free to email me at he at uh, yongkang.cloud. Thank you very much. Have a good one.